Hey guys, welcome back to the shop today. Today I have my half-blind dovetail jig set up and ready to go. I'm going to be making the drawers uh, for the storage cabinet I built in a previous video. Now you ask, what is half-blind? Well, as you can see from my test piece that I have here, on the front of the test piece you can't see where the dovetails are. However, on the side you can see where they come together real nice. That's the meaning of half-blind. <laughs> Alright guys, I ran into a little technical problem when I was editing my video and I lost almost all of the drawer build. As you can see behind me, <laughs> I have the drawers built, uh, dovetailed together, and painted. Uh, I'm getting ready to make the slides for them, so I figured I'd try to bring you guys in uh, on what I've done already uh, on these uh, so you can kind of see. So, here we go. As you can see, I have the drawers already painted. This is the smaller of the drawers. I have the dovetails all put together and uh, glued and sanded down. Uh, I also used a brad nail uh, in there to hold it together, which you guys will see uh, in some of the uh, tip videos that I had posted just prior to this. That was actually from me doing the build. Now, on the drawer fronts, this is one of the 16-inch drawer fronts. What I did is I used a quarter round uh, router bit around the top to round down the edges and to eliminate the need for uh, a handle on the front of this I went and I put a chamfer in the bottom of it here so that uh, I can put my fingers under the front of the drawer and pull the drawer out. So that's where I'm at so far. I have all of the drawer fronts done and all the drawers built. So we're going to pick up from here on this build. Okay guys, I got the drawer shells uh, put into the spot. Now what I need to do is measure the gap between the sides. Now what I'm going to do to, to uh, do that is slide the drawer all the way to one side so it's tight and measure the gap in between. That's three quarters of an inch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm making uh, wooden slides out of hardwood. So I have three quarters of an inch to work with I have to decide how deep I want to run the dovetail bit into the side of the drawer. Uh, still have structural integrity on the drawer, on the side, and on the slide itself. So I'm going to do a little bit of math and figure that out. Okay, what I've decided on here is I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch into my piece of three quarter inch uh, sideboard. So I'm going to be routing from front to back across the sideboard which is three quarter inch. I'm going to be going a quarter inch deep with a dovetail bit to put the female side of the slide into the drawer. <laughs>
rails. So when I mark these rails, when I mount them in there, I'll have a little bit of space in the bottom. I'll put the bottom of the rail up here. Up. I'll put the bottom of the rail up here. And then I'll still have enough room up at the top for a good gappage. Alright, I decided to build some dividers in the drawer. There's those longer parts that I needed to go and sort out. And I built this in the front, so I can take my sandpaper, and put my sandpaper to the different grits so I can have them divided up between the 50, the 100, 150, 200, 220, and 300s, and anything smaller I might have for my woodworking. Uh, I made it so I can have them all pre-cut and ready to go, stand up in there. Of course, I don't have these drawers full yet, but I got a place to put my sander, and then I figure in this one I'll put a couple other power tools. I made some uh, removable wood dividers that'll go across the drawer if I want them to. Um, made two of them, and they'll work in either drawer. But I figured in here I'll put my belt sander, my circular saw, maybe 
one or two of my uh, jigsaws. Guys, there you have it. That's the finished product with all the dividers and everything into it. So, I got my storage cabinet for the wall all done. I got all my tools up on there for the time being. So, onwards and upwards. See you guys soon.